Good morning, Hilda. Good morning. How are you, Joe? I'm wonderful. How are you today? Very well, thank you. Happy to have this conversation. Yeah, it, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to diving in here. I appreciate you taking time out. No, thank you very much for accepting. Um, that is a way, a good way to know each other. Absolutely, it is. So, where are you coming out of? Well, I'm from Mexico City. I'm an an executive leadership coach uh, for almost twenty years. I do love what I do, and I I wrote a book in pandemic times that everyone. Um, we were in a crisis. We didn't know how to handle ourselves. My clients stopped all the projects. So I decided to write uh, to write a book uh, two years ago, and it was a book in Spanish. And I had this book in my head because I wanted to be an author for many years and didn't didn't accomplish that. So I accomplished, I published, I have a book in Spanish. And after that, there was an inner voice telling me that if I want to go global and to work in other countries, to write a book in English would be a, a, a great fit. So I finished the book. It's in production. Today, I review the photos and the book cover, and they are working on it. And I will launch a book in a month. Excellent. So, yeah, so I will love to to be interviewed, to be in a podcast. I actually I'm a podcaster in Spanish, okay. a leadership co- podcaster. So I I did like with a friend of mine like a hundred thirty thirty episodes, uh, but she has a baby now, so we stop a little bit. Yeah. But I'm. A little bit familiar with that, and I okay. love to have conversations. Excellent. Well, let's start this conversation off with how did you survive COVID? How did you get through that time period, and how has it changed you? Okay, I love I love that question because I found myself in difficult times um, with with a resilience, something in me that pushed me. Uh, up and allow me to move. So I I began like calling my clients and five clients said, I, I'm sorry, we don't know how to deal with that. We need to ensure our operations. We need to solve this. We need to find out how remote, remote work is. So uh, please stop for a moment, and when we will we'll find out, we will solve it. So I began with an anxiety this day, and in Mexico, we didn't have prohibited to go to to go for a walk. Yeah. So I went for a walk, like ten kilometers, and I in when I do exercise, my my mind gets really clear. So the idea of the book came out and I I came into my home. I wrote a book coach and I began the book. So my complete focus, seven weeks, eight or 10 hours per day, I dedicated to that. So I went out for a walk one hour and I came to my home and I wrote the whole day. Uh, so for me, COVID was a transformation, a huge one, yeah. because I never thought myself as an author, sharing what I know, putting a decade or more than that in a book. So it was amazing. And I needed to figure out a lot of stuff because I didn't know. Actually, I'm beginning to understand how to market a book. And this is my second book. But COVID showed me as other moments in life that I have an inner strength and I pull myself to go out from the situation. I do have a very positive mind. So that helps a lot. 
But if I'm not in my best shape, there is a, a, an inner voice. I coach myself to push out. Yeah. So not to stay I, there. Yeah, for sure. So if I put you in front of a bunch of grade school kids right now and they ask you, it's career day, and they ask you what you do for a living, how do you answer them? Okay, I work with others. I listen to them. I have big conversations and I make that people will achieve their dreams. Um, and maybe I can ask kids what their dreams are, what they want to be when they, they are going to grow up. And the answer, the possible answer can be a great example to talk about dreams and how to walk towards that dreams. So what did you want to be when you were in the third grade? What was your dream to grow up and become? I was a school, I, I wanted to be a school teacher. I have some dolls and I don't know why I have a small suitcase. I don't know why my mother gave me. So I put my dolls in the wall and I gave the class. Excellent. And I studied an educational career. So it makes sense to learn and to improve and to achieve and to want more and better and higher. And in third grade, I wanted that. Yeah. Not, not as I see it now, but I wanted to teach others. Yeah. So I'm not teaching, I'm supporting. I'm a catalyst to, to support people to become the person they want to be. And we change that. When we age in different stages in life, we change what we want to be. Never thought myself as a podcaster, never thought myself as a author. So we change a lot. Yeah, for sure. So let me ask you this. What, who's been a hero for you in your life? Um, well, my mother is one of it. My mother really is one of it. And I admire huge people in the, in the coaching business, like Anthony Robbins and Marshall Goldsmith. And now I love Shirsa Chamin because he taught me a lot about saboteurs and how to overcome interferences in life. And most of those people, like I love opera and Simon Sinek, so current people that I relate because of their ideas or the power that they have to transform others' lives. And a lot of these people have a deep level of motivation. There's a lot that makes them who they are. What is that for you? What's your motivation? I do have a lot. Um, and one of it, and the book is a reason of that, is I want to create a bigger impact. I'm an executive coach. I work with others one-on-one -on -one or in teams. I work in mastermind groups also. And everything has the same seal. I want to create a bigger impact. So maybe this week I'm going to see 30 executives, but 30 is not enough. A book can change a life and can be sold to millions of people. So that's why I want to impact because sometimes we need only a little push yeah. to move. Yeah, for sure. So what has been one of the best success stories that you've been a part of, whether it's with your book or as a professional? Uh, one of the best in my life is coaching because I, I used to be a trainer. I train people in, in coaching, in leadership, in communication skills, in soft skills. And I was in a swimming pool with my daughter in a conversation in some holidays. And I said, the next year you are going to Spain for six months to learn there. So it's going to be a great year for you. So tell me what do you want to achieve? And she asked me back the same question. And when she did that, I realized that why I was a trainer when I can 
can impact better as a coach. So the story is 20 years ago, and I have 10 certifications. And that transformed my life amazingly and others' lives. But mine, amazingly, because I put myself into goals and I go for them and I understand who do I want to become and what I need to improve and how to create impact. So to be a coach is one of the major things in life. So as an author, what's been one of your favorite books? What was one of the early books that you read that really inspired you? Well, for this book, I read a lot of books. But actually, one great, amazing book is James Clear, Atomic Habits, is a famous one. And I like very much because it's a way of understanding exactly what steps you need to take to, to create an habit or get rid of one of those that you don't want in your life. So that is a good a, a very good life. I love also triggers. I love now positive intelligence book is a great one about saboteurs. One of, of the main books that changed my life and to meet also Marshall Rosenberg was nonviolent communication. That was a transformational book because we don't realize people um, we we understood when we were kids that we need to compare and to criticize and to judge. Uh, so that is not helpful. That doesn't connect you well with others. And maybe that can be very violent. So of all the things that you've accomplished up to this point in your life, what are you the proudest of? Um, to have two amazing kids, they are grown ups now, and they had married, and I see them in life, and maybe this is my best project because they are so good. Um, they stand up very well in life, and I I keep closeness, and I'm proud of them, and they understand that they need achieve to achieve and not stay the same yeah. and they need to challenge themselves so maybe that is my proudest project so speaking of youth if you were to have a dream tonight you ran into a much younger version of yourself and you could give that version mm -hmm. of you a piece of advice based on the wisdom you've gained in your life what would you tell that young version of you okay love it um, maybe the same that I said before, create impact, leave a legacy, uh, that life will be the best I can live and I can share with others. So everyone out there has a perception of you, your family, your friends, your clients, your readers, but you live your life. Who do you think you are? Well, I do learn because I'm a divorcee and I learn how to recover my life and to have the best of it. Who am I? A person who enjoys life. If you ask me if I feel that my life is fulfilling, the answer is yes, positively yes. I had a client that once asked me, are you satisfied with your life? And I said, gosh, what a great question. Yes, I am. And he said, because it looks like you have that expression and that way, and he's a client, that way of living the life and work and enjoying that it looks you are, you are plenty and satisfied. So that person I am full of resources to share with others. So Hilda, if anyone wants to pick up your book, learn more about you, anything pertaining to your world, where can they go? Okay, the book is going to be in a month or so. I will let know, but um, if you go to my page, that is um, in English, the English version is building, but the Spanish version is still there 
two years ago. So they go to contacto, it's like contact with an O, contacto, that hildapanzo.com. So they can find me and that way they can find me in different social media. Wonderful. This has been wonderful. Thank you so much for opening up your story. Best of luck with the book and everything that, that comes your way. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much, Joe. Thank you. Have a great day. You too.